Hello, this is Dan P and welcome to a Terraria Let's Play video. Uh, today I am going to be... I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I normally have some sort of a plan for what I'm going to do in my videos, but uh, today, um, because I don't know what uh, I'm still really doing with this game, uh, I'm just going to have some fun. I'm just going to carry on playing Terraria, try and find out some new things. I might go mining, I might not, I might travel across the top of the surface of the land, but I might not do that. Um, I guess we're going to find out. Um, I should probably get some more wood, cut down a few more trees, and then plant a few more trees. I know what I should do. I should extend my house a bit. As soon as I'm getting all this wood, I should sort of add a, add a second floor like to my house. And I don't know what to do for my house. I have quite a lot of ideas, but I think they're all things that I should start trying to do later on. So I don't know if I should have this as my temporary house and then build a bigger house somewhere else once I kind of know everything that I can do. Or I don't know, or, or I could just keep extending this house. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I guess I'll work it out. Like, I want to I wanna do my house in like the shape of something and uh, I'm not sure what. At first I thought like a giant clock could look cool, uh, but then I'm not entirely sure whether you could do that or not. <laughs> I might do it in the shape of a giant tree. And I know that's not very original, but I think that I have the materials to do it, you know. I could I could do like a big trunk now just by like extending what I've built already and then just find something green for like the top maybe. Um, I don't know, I think that'll look quite cool. That's doable for now. And then maybe later on in the future, I could build another house and convert that tree into something else. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, can I get rid of these, get rid of these torches? Um, I'm going to have to use my hammer for that. Where's my hammer? Oh, I've got, I got two pickaxes now. Copper pickaxe and uh, another copper pickaxe. Uh, I don't know why I got two. I guess I probably accidentally crafted one like in the last video when I was trying to do something else. All right, can I get rid of these torches? I can. Okay, I'm learning the controls at least. I am getting there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend this uh, directly up. And then I'm going to add some sort of like ladder or staircase or something uh, in between. Uh, so I can just sort of extend it up. But here we go. I got 189 uh, pieces of wood. It's nice that there doesn't seem to be much of a, a limit in terms of how you can stack items. I mean, I'm sure there is a limit. I mean, it's probably like 9999 or something. But it's not like Minecraft where you have like stacks of 64 and like it's really annoying like carrying like around a load of materials. Okay, so if I fill it in like this and then I just do uh, in the middle kind of just like a little staircase thing. Uh, so if I get rid of these two blocks here. Oh no, I can't reach. Can I, can I jump and cut it? There we go. So if I just do that there, and then I now, uh, now need to fill in the wall. Uh, but first I'm just going to dig down through here. <laughs> oh no, I got rid of my sign. I can't remember what that sign said. Um, right, if I go to my workbench and I need to make some... Oh, what are they called? Oh, these are I need. Wooden platforms. I've already got a bunch. If I do these, um, I think if I do it... Oh god, I need to go on easy mode. There we go. Can I do them there? Will I be able to jump and get onto that? There we go. So if I can just do this the whole way up, and then I can easily get up and down. And so I now need to do some some walls, and I'm just going to go and use wooden walls. I think I might need to make some more. There we go. I got 29 there. Yeah, so if I just fill in the background all here with uh, these walls, and then, yeah, I'm just going to extend this up just so I got a few different rooms on the way up, uh, just so, so, I, so I can, like, shovel my stuff down, and um, I guess I should probably organise them. I should have, like, a, a storeroom and stuff later on, but uh, for now, I'm just going to do a whole bunch of room, rooms where I can just uh, shove everything. I'm still very much just learning the mechanics of the game and that's sort of uh, my priority. And uh, I really need another mining trip. I need a load more iron and stuff. Um, okay, what am I doing? I need to make some walls. What do walls look like? Um, mud block. Have I, have I gone past it? I want to make a toilet as well. I don't know what toilets do, but I kind of want to make one. Um, is this where wooden walls are? No, these are just different types of brick. Uh, copper brick could look quite cool as a background. Have, have I gone wall, like gone past walls like a million times? How do I make walls? Clay pot, pink vase, bowl. Um, is, is this it here? Here we go. Here are the walls. Uh, wood wall. Let's make a whole load of these because I'm need going to need a lot of them. And yeah, let's just carry on placing all these in here. I know there's a bit of a weird bit on the outside, but I can use my hammer and get rid of them in a minute. It's just annoying, you've got to get like every single bit and it leaves like weird marks if you miss a bit. But I think for it to be counted as like a proper room, you need to get like every last little section done. And so yeah, there we go. Here's my, my second room. Doesn't my house look lovely? Uh, so I might move um, a lot of this stuff up here. I might have like a, like a crafting room, then all other sorts of rooms as well. Probably like a storeroom where I can have all my chests on me and stuff. 
Uh, let me just do another little staircase thing. Uh, put in that there. I'll get rid of my shurikens for now. I don't feel like I'm going to be attacked. There's a few slimes lurking, uh, but I should be safe enough. Oh no, that's not. Oh, there we go. I can just about make that. Okay, so I'm just going to do another room here, just the same, just six blocks high. I think that's kind of like the standard height because that's like the limit that you can reach. <laughs> All right, if I just carry on doing that along here, and then that, that'll probably do for now. I mean, I can keep extending this up, and this will look like quite a good tree. I might actually add some, like, branches and stuff. Could be, like, rooms on the outside and stuff. Actually, what I'm going to do while I'm here, while I'm up here, I'm going to get my hammer out and get rid of those those random bits there, just so it doesn't look like such a mess. There we go. This, this looks all right, doesn't it? It looks lovely. Oh, and then I immediately go and place more stuff outside. <laughs> I need to be more careful. Right, let's go Let's go make some more walls. I'm not even sure if I need the workbench to make the walls, but uh, it doesn't really matter. It's not far to go. And uh, I actually found how to make walls quite quickly, that go. <laughs> all right, let's make a whole load of these. I'm going to need a lot of them eventually. Uh, yes, yeah, so this, this will be the last room I'll do now. Then I might just uh, rearrange some of my stuff. I might make... Uh, like a bedroom, like for me and a bedroom for Zach. Oh, there's, there's quite a lot of rooms you need things for. And there's also like, I think like trophies and like statues and all stuff you can do. You can have like a like room full of like things that you've earned. Um, okay, I need some torches as well so I can, uh, yeah, put some of these up just to light up some of these rooms. I'm kind of getting like used to, well slowly getting used to the idea of having like my crafting window and my inventory on the same thing. Like I keep going to press Y to go to inventory and X to craft when like it's like done from like pretty much the same menu. You just like switch through them all. And why have I still got that stupid bucket on my head? <laughs> I want to make something that looks good. I want to make like a cool hat or something or give myself sunglasses or just something that looks cool. Okay, well let's move some of this stuff then, shall we? Um, hopefully I'm not going to actually break any of it. Right, I'm actually moving the anvil. There we go. So I, th I think I'll leave the, the workbench down there and that, that can all stay down there, that's fine. This can be like my workroom straight up here, so this is where I can put my anvil and stuff. So I'm getting a lot of stuff here, aren't I? Yeah, so if I put my... where's the anvil gone? I've got to get used to all the little symbols. Can you see it? There it is. Here's my anvil and my furnace. They can both go down here. Uh, so I can have my furnace against the wall. I think I probably need to make my, my rooms a bit bigger, to be fair. Like, I can't really fit much in them. But here we go. This is, this is like, my workroom. And uh, actually, I might put my workbench in there and put the uh, the table downstairs might be a good idea. I'm not going to break my pink vase, am I? Oh, no, I, I smashed my pink vase. Did you hear it, like, cling? <laughs> right, okay. So I'm going to put my, my workbench here as well. And then I'm going to put that big old table I got and put that uh, there. And then I can place that into this room here. I don't know if I can make the, the chair face the other direction. I don't know when I place it if there's any way to, to choose which way I want it to be. Maybe like which way I'm standing when I place it. Will it be facing me? Yeah, there we go. Got a nice little table and chair. Oh, my house actually looks all right now. It doesn't look it doesn't look embarrassingly bad for once. Okay, and I'm also going to take that chest. And I'm going to go and... Um, oh, I need to use my hammer. And I'm going to put the chest uh, up even higher. And then the room above here can be my storeroom. AKA the room with one chest in and then I'm gonna dump a whole load of stuff in it just to uh, clear up my inventory Okay, so how, how do I do this? Is there like a like a quick move option so I can just press it and it'll go straight in? Um, I don't need the clay do I? How, how do I just move it? Do I just have to keep going like that? I guess uh, I suppose it won't take too long. I can get rid of that dirt. I can put that in there. Don't need my acorns I uh, keep my shurikens uh, what's that there? I've got, I've got some iron ore. I can put that in. Um, I was going to put in uh, some brick. I pretty much dump all of this stuff. Fallen Star was ammo. Fallen Star as ammo disappears after the sunrise. Okay, that, that might be useful for crafting. Um, the consumable restores 20 life. It's smiling might be a good snack. <laughs> Are you smile? Oh, I feel mean eating that little goldfish. <laughs> oh, well, I'm going to keep it on me in case I, I do get a bit peckish later on. I don't think there is actually any sort of hunger bar at all. I think the only thing you need food for is, like, putting your health up. It's kind of like what Minecraft used to be before the uh, the 1.8.2 update. Okay, so I, I keep some of this stuff on me. There we go. So there's some stuff there in my chest and uh, it's now getting dark And what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on a mining trip seeing as I've emptied out a lot of my stuff Actually, I can get rid of my um Get rid of the old pickaxe as well, can't I? Uh, there we go. Use chest 
Uh, yeah, I, I don't need two pickaxes. That's just being greedy. And what I want to do is I can get a whole load of uh, more iron and stuff like that. And I've kind of started a little uh, makeshift mine down here. So I might as well carry on going down there. Leave the door shut from my lovely house. It will look like quite a good tree once I've finished with it. I'm kind of glad that that's what I decided to do and I didn't run out of ideas. Um, okay, do I have any slime on me? Uh, gel, is that is that what the slime stuff is? Because uh, I'm going to need a whole load of torches, so it'd be good to make a bunch of them now, just so i got them ready. Oh, and I'm making a load of wooden platforms, oh, well, they might be useful too. Uh, so I'm just going to make it so my torches are in my quick select menu, and then I'm going to have axe to the right, and pickaxe to the left. Axes to the right, pickaxe to the left, here I am. Stuck in the middle with a sword. <laughs> okay, let's just go dig down here and get a bunch of stone. So uh, I'm pretty sure at some point I'm going to want to build something out of stone. Uh, also, if I get a hundred stone blocks, I can make a statue. And I really want to have a statue just to uh, help decorate. And uh, if you've played Terraria before, by the way, if you've played it on PC or you've just been... Uh, playing it on Xbox as well and you've learnt quite a lot. Uh, please do leave suggestions and tips and stuff like I'm completely new to this game, I'm an absolute noob, I'm still learning what I'm doing, I'm having fun, like I, I don't think it's hindering my enjoyment the fact I don't know what I'm doing but if you have played this game before and you do know what you're doing and you want to give me any tips or suggestions or maybe if you haven't even played this game before but you've still got like an idea for something for me to build uh, then please do leave a suggestion, I want to I don't know, I want to have this as kind of an interactive thing, so like, we were kind of doing it together, sort of learning about the game and exploring uh, together, that's why it's more fun, rather than you just there, like, just watching me and me not engaging with you at all, I mean, you know I do try and reply to as many comments as I can, so, uh, yeah, just say hello and give me uh, any ideas for what I should build. Oh, look, here we go, look, I think I found my, my way into, like, a little tunnel here, yeah, here we go. This is what I was after. This seems to be where you find most of the stuff. So, oh, why do I, I always put down two torches for some reason. Oh, then take them both away. I need to just tap the right trigger. Okay, right. There's a nice little vase down here. Ooh. Okay, I just about don't fit through this tunnel. Let's harvest this. Here we go. This is what I was after. This is some more iron. I need to get a whole load of iron because every three iron ore makes one iron ingot or iron block or whatever it's called in this game so uh, I need quite a lot of it if I'm going to actually build anything useful out of it and I kind of want to make some iron tools because I think copper tools are, are a little bit rubbish in this game so I kind of want to yeah I kind of want to get some better tools oh is that it is that it for the natural cave I wanted there to be more well I might as well just keep digging down I'm sure I'm gonna eventually run into something else I just, I just really need a better pickaxe. Oh, what's this? Oh, there's a zombie coming down. Oh, I didn't block the top, did I? I remember last time I blocked the top off. Oh, no, these, these guys are going to keep coming. Right, <laughs> they don't seem to be doing much damage, though. Oh, 2v1. 2v1, and I'm still owning them. Right, get some copper coins. <laughs> okay, what I might just do quickly for now um, with some dirt is just block this tunnel off just so uh, no googlies are going to sneak up behind me. So, yeah, just like that for now. Um, there we go. There's a bit of ore up there. I think that's just copper, though, so I don't really care about that. Here we go. Now, hopefully, things aren't going to sneak up to me from behind. Like, I'm sure they're going to sneak up to me from the front. I'm sure I'm going to eventually tunnel down into some sort of nasties like I did last time. But uh, at least from behind, at least, I should be uh, relatively safe. <laughs> and once again, I placed down two torches. It seems to always do it. I know it's just me being an idiot, but oh well. And what's with all this stone? Like, I'd assume that if I follow the stone, i got more chance to find something good. But I'm not sure. I suppose mining stone is probably better than mining dirt or mud, whatever it's called. I, I guess, like, there's more uses for stone. I mean, I'm not going to make any stone tools, you know? I mean, I started off with copper tools. I'm not going to downgrade to stone. <laughs> I'm not even sure if you can use, uh, like, stone to make tools or anything. I think, like, copper might be, might be the worst thing you can use. It just kind of feels a bit better compared to other stuff. What's that? Po is that my pink vase? Am I taking my pink vase with me? What's that? Night owl potion increases night vision. Uh, another night owl potion. Can I not stack them? Yeah, there we go. And uh, oh, a healing potion. I should probably have that ready. Actually, I'm going to put that there actually instead of my axe, so I can I can use it very quickly if I need to. Oh, I can just press it and immediately drink it. I completely wasted it though because I had it <laughs> when I had full health. So I guess I don't have to select it and then drink it. That would be really handy, actually. That could have that could have saved my bottom in a lot of situations if I knew about that in the past videos. <laughs> I've already died. I think twice I've died so far on this Let's Play, is it? Maybe even slightly more than that. <laughs> uh, so I don't intend on dying again uh, in a while. Oh, look, there's something there. Is that just more stone? And I need to dig down into another natural cave. 
I remember I found one before, but I dug straight into like a million googlies and then got completely owned. So I don't want that to happen again, but I want to find something interesting. Like in this game, if you keep dig digging down, you eventually just get to hell and that's like the bottom and there's a massive lava pit. And I actually believe there's a uh, achievement for getting right to the bottom of the world. So uh, that might be worth doing anyway. But here we go. Look at all this iron. Here's the jackpot. This will do. I mean, I'm guessing iron's still uh, relatively common. I mean, I did find some on the surface before. I would like to find some diamond or gold or just, I don't know, just, just something else. It's kind of nice not knowing what materials are in the game. Like when playing Minecraft, because I've played it so much, like it's still exciting if I find gold or diamonds, but I sort of expect to run in into it every now and then. In this game, I have, I have no idea what I'm going to run into. I could literally find anything down here, and it's, it's quite exciting. And why is there grass down here? Was this, like, down here naturally anyway? Or do you reckon the grass just, like, spreads anywhere where there's, like, dirt? I mean, I'm tunneling here for ages. I don't know whether I'm, I'm only supposed to really go down natural caves, but I'm not really, I'm not really finding much down here. It's been a bit of a, an uninventful uh, mining trip. I've only found a little bit of iron and 250 dirt blocks. <laughs> I think things might stack in 250s, actually. Yeah, I think 250 is what things stack in. Yeah, look, I got like a hundred, like, uh, like five, like 750, or like 785, whatever it is, like dirt blocks. I just want to find, I want to find something exciting. Oh, go on, please let me run into something. I think it'll be better once I got a, a better pickaxe because uh, that way I'll be able to just go down a lot quicker. I could have done this in about half the time. Uh, so I might do, if I don't run into anything uh, within the next minute or so, I might head up to the surface and upgrade my tools if I can. Hopefully I've got enough iron to make at least some sort of iron pickaxe or something. I mean, I've been, I've been digging for quite a while here and found like almost nothing. Oh, here we go. Here's something. Oh, here we go. More iron. This is what I needed. This will do. It's not the most exciting thing because I already have found some before, but it's better than nothing. Oh, there's quite a lot of it as well. This is quite good. I actually also think I need a um an iron pickaxe just to be able to harvest some stuff. It does kind of work like Minecraft in the sense that like certain tools can only mine certain things. So I believe I might need to upgrade my pickaxe anyway, not just to, to mine quicker, but uh, to mine some more like precious stones and stuff. I think I'm now slightly regretting setting my, my world to, to large rather than small or medium because I think this might go down a really long way. There's also a way you can bring up a map as well. How do you bring up the map? Um, is there like any button you can press? Uh, oh, here we go. If I press the map. Oh, here we go. Here's the map. Oh, look. Here we can see everywhere I've been. Ah, oh, this is useful. Look, I can see where there's other tunnels and stuff. Okay, look, look, I'll show you how big the world is. You see in the middle there, that's my little house. Look how far I can go to the side. Whoa. Okay, actually, that's a bad idea because you don't know if I'm still scrolling or not. Basically, you can go very far anyway. And that's where I went down and died before. Look at that little tunnel down there. So I guess, like, after about the point where I am, things get a bit more exciting. Oh, this, is, this is really useful, actually. You can also see who's in the game. You can set it to whether you want PvP, like whether people can hurt each other and stuff. It's quite a useful menu to have found, actually. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my map and I'm going to tunnel down uh, to where I just saw, just down... Uh, where was it? Just down... It's like left exactly now. If I, if I go for, across this way, I should find my way to like a... Like some sort of other natural cave where I might be able to find some more goodies. I believe there's some googlies down there. I believe it does mark uh, enemies on your map. So I'm going to have to be careful. I might actually quickly equip my shurikens as well. Just uh, just in case I do get in some danger. I can have something better to defend myself rather than my rubbishy little copper sword. What is it down there? Oh, demon eye. Oh, God. Here we go. Right, I can take them on. Bring it on, mate. Bring it on. I ain't scared of you. Let me get my sword out. I might actually put down a torch quick so I can actually see what I'm doing. Get back, get back, get back. He doesn't seem too bothered to me, to be honest. <laughs> For a massive eye, I don't even think he's seen me yet. Right, let's throw some shurikens at him then. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, now he's after me. Now he's after me. Now I've got his interest. I'll get my sword out. Get my sword out. Get back, demon eye. Oh. <laughs> I, th I think he was just, like, plying. He was trying to lure me close, and then he went for, like, one mental attack on me. Come on, I get him. Next time he pokes up, I'm going to rapid fire these shurikens at him. There we go. Let's make sure I pick all my shurikens back up as well. 
I need to light up a bit more of the area too, just so more stuff doesn't come out at me. Get rid of that torch. Uh, put another one down there. Uh, well, down anywhere down here will do. I'll go and put my torch up. Um, I'm on the, the the automatic mode, not the manual mode. Okay, looks like I found I found a proper tunnel now. So uh, sadly, I, I am running out of time in this video. But in the next video, uh, I'm going to carry on mining down here, and hopefully, uh, now I'm in some sort of a natural cave. I can run into something a bit more interesting. I think just having that map uh, will just make things a bit easier in general. And what's this? I found a I found a little vase down here or a pot, and I found two torches, which isn't the most exciting thing to find, but. It's pretty useful, you've got to give me that. And is, is that just stone up there? I can actually harvest the cobwebs, so uh, I guess I can make something out of them. Uh, but sadly though, as I did say, I am going to have to end this video here. But there'll be a link in the description uh, to the next part of this Let's Play. And uh, yeah, you can go check that out to see the continuation of my mining trip. But thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you later. Bye!